Hey everybody, welcome back to GDPG. After the last recording session, I've just... Here, by all means, do the... Yeah. So, today we're playing a game called Please. Don't touch anything. Uh, this game is developed by Four Quarters. Four Quarters? Four Quarters? I don't know why I'm doing that. I don't know but, either. Uh, yeah. So, uh, it's a puzzle game. Um, yeah. And basically, we're presented... We'll, we'll, we'll show you, but we'll read through this text. Hey, man. Man. I need to take a bathroom break. Stare for more. Wait. Wait, what's this paddle for? Just stare over a buck. Don't touch anything. Oh, I get it, because it's... <laughs> don't touch anything. Wait, you didn't say please. <laughs> Doesn't he know what the game is called? Duh. Whatever. So, uh... We're presented with a panel, right? Like, there's, there's just this computer terminal, yeah. monitor, one big red button. It's the classic, like... The do you push game. the... The big red button. Do you do you tempt fate? Because you don't know what it does. Yeah. And, and then I, I love this this thing of grab your screwdriver, grab your hammer, work, and then math, <laughs> math, <laughs> math everywhere except for whatever the hell this is. And oh, good, glad, glad we worship Satan. Yeah, right. And you see the little like star with the six x six next to or it. Which is that? Witchcraft. Uh, pentagram. Whatever. Uh, technically, either we worship pentagrams. Well, it's it's like tilted, right? So it's like it's either a pentagram or yeah. it's the devil star, or but it's, it's just like a star. it's not aligned yeah, yeah, yeah. in any way to really let you know. <laughs> or somebody nicked their finger and was like, "Oh, I could draw a star. Look at this, it's a star." And then it bled, and I was like, "Oh man, it all messed up." <laughs> <laughs> so we're not gonna touch anything because yeah, we were told not to touch anything. Hey, great, thanks, Mel. You really helped me. What took you so long? Something could happen. Right. Like what? The apocalypse? I just turned into a lumpy space princess. That's right. Like I what? The apocalypse? <laughs> the guy had an education around us from shine. Let's go. That's that's the, oh, that's, the, that's the good ending. Buddha. We right? we. Buddha? Uh, He's I. He's doing the the. Maybe I don't want to jump into into any conclusions and I be wrong. That's it. I don't know. But anyway, we win. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please don't All touch right, anything. Sam, send us your game request. <laughs> Uh, so, alright, all right. well now now that we've gotten an ending, we have to restart, I think, before... And restart is, it just sets everything back to normal, so... Let's, let's uh, let's see Ooh. what, uh, kind Ooh, of... someone turned on the light! Oh, thank you. <laughs> alright, well, some, so I did play a little bit of this before, um... I made a book around. I've already beaten this, so if we ever get stuck, I'm gonna give Cujo hints. Oh, oh. oh. Boom! Well... Dead. Oh, good. I love the little wall posters. Yeah, I think it's a really of, clever way of... Right? It lets you know how many... Like, we get the little lights at the bottom, right, that tell us how many endings there are, but it's... The wall decorations are kind of like a, a fun, like, extra thing. Oh. So this one took me forever to figure out. This one didn't took, take me nearly as long, because I looked over here, and it's looking for... Like, you start hitting buttons, it's like, oh, cool, display comes up. So like one, two... Three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. Six numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's, do that. let's clear this out first. Yeah, whatever. Damn it. Well. <laughs> All right, time for. Okay, so you think. So you're like, okay, this. one, 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 two, two, one. Well, obviously two, that's two, the answer. One. It's like, okay, well that's nothing. And then you try the second one, and it also doesn't do anything. One, two, two. One, and and thing. and that was the point that I got before. I was like, "Well, maybe I have to solve that equation there." Yeah. And, and uh, screw something. that, by the way. <laughs> it, there is no way to solve it because you don't have all, right, the, variables, have all the variables. But those numbers do actually matter. However, I looked at this and I was like, "Oh, this seems really random." Uh, I know, right? I should have realized that too because I, I saw that and I was like, "Oh, maybe that's just like a uh, maybe that's just like an edge on the poster or whatever." And I just totally dismissed it. So what's funny is that after this, I was like, oh, what the hell is this? Well, there are like four corners and there's nothing that really has corner. Oh, wait, these arrows mean mm -hmm. something. And it clearly says correct upside down. So I haven't done it the other way yet, but let's do it the correct way. So if we look, if we hurt our, hurt our necks and do <laughs> that. Ah, this shows up. Now, I'm not going to do it here, but I actually did. Like this, 276 times and hit the button. <laughs> no, let's do that. We'll, we'll, we'll cut to it.
Hey, you did it. Oh. All right. Yeah, we totally spent hours doing that. You know, there's an achievement to do that in less than 60 seconds. Uh, screw that. I got it. How? It's not that hard. <laughs> All right, hit that red button. Oh, dang. And the earth reclaims the city. My God. Panda. <laughs> I actually kind of like that ending. It's the WWF. Huh? Did you hear about that? No. The, oh, so, so the reason the World Wrestling Federation had to change their name from WWF to WWE was because the World Wildlife Foundation was upset that they were getting confused with wrestling. So now there is a t-shirt that shows that panda with another panda behind it with a steel chair and it says WWF at the bottom. <laughs> I want it so bad. <laughs> Feel free to send me a shirt. If... <laughs> Yeah, you wish. We don't have a P.O. box set up yet, actually, so no one can send us anything. Well, f figure it out. I don't... No, that's... <laughs> that would be... We will have a P.O. box set up at some point. I'm actually in the works okay, of... Did I mess it up? Yeah, you did. It's 132231. Uh, one, two, two, one. But yeah, I, uh... Oh yeah, we're gonna do it the, uh, the arrow way. Yeah. I haven't seen this one yet. <laughs> wee, 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 wee. Oh, cool. Space ah, Invaders. Ah, ah. Awesome. Or Rachel's <laughs> laugh. <laughs> Is that Rachel's laugh? That was Rachel's laugh when she was trying to sound manly. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that was really funny. Ow. So, uh, so um, before I even Under checked attack. it. Wow, are you okay? <laughs> No big deal. You're just on Shut the up. right now. <laughs> Don't yell at me, Internet. I had something in my eye. All right. The Internet already knows you're a wuss, so... Your internet Except for your wrestling your fans. Bag. Your wrestling fans think you're so tough and scary. Please. <laughs> All right, so we do this. Whoa! Bender, Bender what does that mean? Bender. Bender. All right, so... Where do we look for the clue? Where do we look for the clue? Well, first place to look, up here. Oh, that's a little weird thing. Yeah, I mean, it took you a, a quick second to figure that one out, but yeah. basically it's it's um, binary, or like Morse code kind of yeah. display. So I was like, okay, well, that makes sense. Yeah, robot, punch down yeah, buildings. Punch that building. I love... Man, show me Bender. I, I actually really like the animations in, in the little destruction yeah. sequences. I think probably... The best thing about this game is that it it gives you a lot of like really good aesthetic rewards for solving the puzzles, um, which is a very classic method of of building satisfying content for your your players, right? Yeah. Um, did I do it the other way already? No, you did not. Dang it! There's one thing we can do though. What? Remember that that little number panel? Oh. We're gonna go up farther <laughs> than. 276. There's another number on here. If you notice, okay, so hit it, hit the group gray hit button. This. Hit the gray button six times. Why is, why is the six red? Oh, fucking hell. I go. <laughs> <sighs> um, but before we cut to the, the, the 666 on there, um, what was I saying? Oh, so this game does a great job at giving us aesthetic rewards for solving the puzzles. Um, Basically, every time we solve a different way of destroying the world or the city, I guess in this case, it gives us both an animation to watch, uh, which is fun, and it changes the music. I, I don't know if it's oh, new yeah. music every single time, but it might be. And the music, I think, in this game is probably one of the absolutely best things about it because it, it's just... It's... I, don't, I think it's really enjoyable. It's like chip y but yet, like, not entirely either. I don't yeah. know. But anyway, we'll, we'll cut to 666. No, we don't have to cut. Let's do uh, our fast forward. Ah, uh, yeah! Uh, it's your finger workout for the day. Thanks. Ready? <laughs> Ready for this, do people? It. Do it. You're not done yet. Oh, come on! Oh shit, maybe we did this too Pentagram. soon. Pentagram. Okay, so 
I'm gonna tell you what you need to do here, um, simply because we haven't seen the hint to solve this yet. Okay. Um, but you're gonna turn off each of the buttons on that panel except for the bleeding eye, the key, the uh, hourglass, and the double wave. Take your time. Duh, duh, duh. Shut up. Duh, Leave the double duh, wave on. Duh, duh. Bam. What? Why is that? It's the happy demon ending. That's weird. All right. <laughs> okay. Really? <laughs> anyway, back to reality. Sort of. So, so I, I've watched a couple of other Let's Plays of this this game, and I was unsatisfied with what I had seen simply because a lot of the Let's Players thought that the puzzles in this game were random. Um, but it's oh. actually totally opposite. All of the hints are in the game. There's only um, two endings that are actually based on random variables, mm -hmm. and they're not hidden. You just hit the restart button a bunch of times until they happen. Right. That's that's all it is. That makes sense. Now this is one I don't know yet. Okay, so the hint is in the instruction panel. Okay, that's what I figured. Um, is it this? Because I've tried both ways. No, but that does matter later. One equals eleven. It's not com. It's not as complicated as you you think one, it is. One, two, three. Right? Am I on the right track there? No. Okay. Go a little bit lower. What do you mean? Lower. On the panel. This? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. It's not as complicated as you think it is. 8x plus 3y plus 67. You just said it right there. 67? No. 8x plus 3y plus 67? How many numbers did you just rattle off? Shut up! <laughs> So that one was is tough though because it it's taking those numbers and just kind of putting them on the screen in a format that you don't think it should be usable with. Right, because you're consistently thinking what are x and y. Right, exactly. Because algebra. Out, <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. It's it's playing off of your current understanding of what that formula represents, and okay. then it's just saying like, don't use the formula. You just you just want the numbers. There's, There's something another... you looked at earlier that required four digits. Then you were like, is it this? And I was like, not yet. This? No. Look at the order. Oh, one, two, four, three. Mm-hmm. Bang. Huh. That's, all, that's all she wrote. Oh, okay. <laughs> Michael, no big deal. Oh, that's cool. That's fine. I like that it just showed up for a second. I was like, all right, bye. <laughs> I grabbed these 12 buildings. I'm out. Yeah! What the hell? You gotta blow up the uh, buildings, quick. So it's it's kind of uh, like centipede style, except you're the centipede in this instance. And you're trying to b destroy the building below you. If you crash into the building, you lose. Oh. Building a runway for yourself. Oh, cool. What triggered this? This is, this is one of the random events. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's just from hitting the restart button. I think you lost. Oh, uh, maybe not. I think you lost. Hold on. No. Damn. Sad day. So it? you're done with those buttons. There is one thing These? in that panel, though, that you haven't seen yet. This? Click that. Click it again. And again. And again. Oh, the tape. This is a hint for something you haven't seen yet. Did... I think it's... Pisano Leonardo. Pisano Leonardo. But okay. this is a, a clue. If, if for all of you people that don't know a lot of things about um, like early mathematics, it refers to the Fibonacci sequence. This is the guy that developed it. Okay, is it something like this? No. Um, <clears throat> it is this. I'm trying to remember where it comes. I don't think it comes into play with anything you've unlocked yet. Something over here. No, you have, you haven't unlocked it yet. Oh. Eh? Nope, you're done with that switch actually. Um, huh. So with that, see that that grid of green buttons. There is one thing you can do, and your hint is actually the six 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 in the star. Um, this one is one of those ones that I kind of feel is not 
very well done though. So you're basically going to put out input five buttons and it's going to be each of the five points of a five pointed star. Um, God. But the trouble with that is that there's no good way to know where, where it goes. So you've actually already messed it up. Really? Oh, oh okay, so at least it lets you play around with it. And then? Yep. This? Yep. Bam. Ooh. <laughs> the satanic ending. Creepy. Yeah, I think this is, of all of them, I think this was the one that upset me the most. I was just like, oh god, I'm so uncomfortable. That's messed up. Wait, what poster did I unlock for that? Uh, I don't know if it... Did I not? I think it shows up after you restart. No. Alright. <laughs> Maybe there's just no poster for that one. That's odd. Alright. Now that I see, anyway. So there's also another number combination we haven't used. The bottom half of the equation. What was that? Uh, 8 plus 3, right? Because it's the square root of 8 squared plus You're, you're thinking squared. too complicated about it again. 8 times 8 is 64. Still still thinking too much into it. Ah, Don't use math. 8232? Two, two? Yes. It, it doesn't want you to use math. That's really annoying. It's, it's confusing, it's annoying, right? But, oh, God. Well, you have two buttons. So, what was the date from Back to the Future? Uh, go ahead and push forward. That's the date. <laughs> Whoa, <what laughs> also, if you notice, the little poster oh, hey, is... Uh, Back to the Future. <laughs> and the moon is destroyed. And the city. I mean... you That's the you, part that throws you, me off, though. You teleported, what, the moon breaking? Yeah. It's not that uncommon in, like, post-apocalyptic sci-fi. Oh, that's fair. That's cool, though. So let's go back to that and then hit the rewind. Rewind. Yeah! There you go. Ah, cool. Prehistoric era. That's awesome. Yeah. So this is still a mystery. So there's actually a decent bit of tools you have yet to discover. Yeah, where, what? So things start appearing when you hit the red button. Do you think more things will appear if you hit the button more often? What'd you look at that? What the f- You have to hit it eight times for it to show the, the screwdriver. But there's more than just that, too. And a hammer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Where does the hammer go? I don't know. Why don't you find out? Smiley, Look around. Sad. I really like these two pieces of equipment though because they change everything. Suddenly your environment. Um, oh, I love this. This is probably my favorite one. What? What the hell? You have a time limit too, so try to do it as quickly as you can. If you don't beat it fast enough, it'll restart and then you have to try all over again. But yeah, I, I really like this uh, because it, it totally throws a whole new game at you when you least expect it. I love it. Especially because you're so used to everything being on the monitor that suddenly now when it's presented to you, like, in front of you... Yeah, what the... Mm. So if you notice... Let's, let's do that again. Let's try it again. Um... But if you notice, there's a little blood trail seeping out from the little, like, alien baby. As soon as it, it like, rests on top of the restart button, it'll restart everything. It's a little subtle, right? So it seems like it's just randomly timing the restart, but it actually is giving you that little visual for it. Interesting. Um, but basically, the best way to beat this, I think, is to just time everything. Everything takes three hits. Um, and you can only hit him once before his force field appears. So basically, if you just optimize your clicks, it's it actually becomes kind of easy. Damn it. Close. No, no, you got it. Bam. There you go. Whoa. The fuck? What the fuck? 
Okay. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell is this now? It's it's just uh What? <laughs> this is I love this. This is an homage to Papers Please. Oh. And very interestingly they chose a character with a Guy Fox mask which isn't in Papers Please. Remember No one's going to hear you if you're talking quietly. Remember, remember the 5th of November. How's that? Did Thanks. you get it? Thanks for that. Alright. So do you let him in or do you reject his passport? Huh? You're in. And that's it? You let him in. Why would anything bad happen from letting him in? Oh. Do it again, then. No. <laughs> so it becomes V for Vendetta? No, it becomes... Basically, the, the setting of Papers, Please is that you're in, like, an overly secure area that, are, oh, yeah. that like, don't doesn't let anyone in. You're basically in a country that's decided to be a fortress. Yeah, that's actually what uh, V for Vendetta's story was about. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I guess that's fair. So, yeah, you basically turn the city into that. Interesting. By rejecting someone. Huh. What was that one? Is that one from the last... Oh, it's a red V. That's, yep. Yeah, that's that's from pap the Papers, Please one. Yeah. So, yeah, I thought that was awesome. That's kind of cool. So here's your hint. Do you remember that one misspelled word in the instruction panel? Gerbba. Gerbba. Green, red, blue, blue. Mm-hmm. What was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> ah! It's the Nega world. Yin yang. Yin yang. Yin yang. Oh, I remember what that's for. Um, go ahead and grab that screwdriver. Plop that sucker over by the instruction panel. What, what, this? The instruction panel. The instruction panel. There you go. Uh, what the f- <laughs> <laughs> And uh, slap that lever over to the left. This? No, 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 the lever. What lever? The, the flippy this? thing. This? Oh. Yeah. And uh, do the eight, three, six, seven. So, we have a, a grid that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my six God. by six. Six by seven? One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Six by seven. No, seven. seven by seven. I'm bad at counting. Two, three, four, five, seven. So, if the top row is A through F and the left row is one through seven, we have a bunch of numbers here that represent different things. C, D, one, which is this. D, one. And then go down to D4. Or this is 4. Yep. And if you also notice, there's a D7. Six, 7. And then in that panel, we have a B and a 4. They look kind of broken. Yeah. Um, so I think the assumption is that they belong together, or that or they eroded. Um, I think... I don't know if we can see the other bit of the letter that used to be on that panel. This is this is one of those hints that I wasn't totally fond of. I think they basically assume that you kind of pick up on the pattern, right? Um, so we can assume that since there's a D4, maybe there's also a B4, and then hmm? yes, and then since we can't see the left side of that four we have to assume that it's another letter. And since we're kind of given a pattern, we can kind of figure out maybe it's E4, or no, F4, D, E, F, yeah. So it's maybe it's F4. E, E, F, four. But I, I don't really like that because That's weird. it's, I feel like they should have just shown us what the hell is this? those numbers in, in, in different places. Yeah. So you can't do anything with that yet. Okay. Wait, four, two. Oh, oh the, that's the, right. From... So there's there's another ending we haven't gotten yet, but it actually shows us the other numbers in that sequence. 
Um, and I'll, I'll talk about it when we get there too, but go ahead and hit 4020. And then I believe you use... Oh, this is where we also need the other... Oh, where do we find it? Well, we'll have to come back to this. Well, what's this up here? Okay, so this is a weird one. Um, if you notice, it that little panel, that big one, it mm -hmm. moves every about five seconds. Okay. And as soon as it hits the top, which we'll see in five seconds it binks and that little light shows so you could assume maybe it has something to do with the time oh jesus and because of that we also want we know that it binks when it goes to the top so maybe at midnight something happens huh um so we're gonna do some stuff and come back because we have to jump out of the game really quick to change the, the time on the system. <laughs> Prints out a little sheet. Okay, with squares. Just look a little bit like that. But it's not the same size grid. Right. So instead we have to look at this a different way. There are one, two, three, four, five, six rows from the bottom going up. Okay. What other panel have, what other number related panel have we interacted with that has six inputs? Or six, um, like, it looks... This. Yes. So, looking at that, we can count the number of lit up dots or squares in that printed out sheet okay. and enter those. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, it looks like two, three, two, two, three, three. Bam. And this is random every single time. What? Bam! Death Star! Nice. Oh! This one's fun too. This is called the Stanley Parable ending. Okay... What? <laughs> Basically, you have to hit every single new button. Oh, fuck. I don't think it really penalizes you for hitting a button that you've... that already existed. Um, but this is important for one of the main achievements of the game, which is to get all of the endings without ever hitting an extra button. Oh my god. It's so hard, man. I, I can't... I haven't been able to do it yet. I almost got it, but I hit one wrong button at the end, and I was just like, ah! Uh, I think you're missing one of those bottom three. There you go. The one nice thing about this ending is that there's really no way to mess up. You just gotta keep pushing buttons until you get something that works. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. You got the job stick. Press button to drop bomb. This is the the plain one. Oh. Maybe you'll be at it this time. <laughs> so okay, we're a little more than halfway through the game, but what are your thoughts so far? I like it. Um the the hints and the changing of your computer clock in order to figure that out was a little much, but it was definitely cool. The game gets very meta at times. Yeah. Um, which is actually one thing that I really appreciate. It's sort of a puzzle game that like really racks your brain. Yeah. Um, with that said, there are occasionally those puzzles that I do think are a little unfair, um, just because of the sheer like difficulty of, of yeah. it. Um, you drop all bomb. <laughs> Yay, you did it. But for a puzzle game, I actually think it's incredibly clever. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, looking at, looking, and this game originally was um, a Ludum Dare entry, I believe. It was a Game Jam game. Oh, cool. Um, I don't remember 
what the theme of it was, it might have been don't touch anything, or it could have been something um, like a one button game. Mm. Um, I don't remember though, I'll have to look that up, but yeah, it, it's awesome to see that, I, I feel like this is probably a full release, I doubt, actually no, I think the original game had 16 endings, um, and then in the final release they knocked it up to 22. That's pretty sweet. Um, and they probably polished up a lot of other things too in the final version, but it's awesome. So, okay, this is how you find the, the 4020, is you see the four and the planets, and the planet in that oh high are the zero. Oh my gosh. This, that's one of those things where it's like, how, how, I feel like just about no one would have really thought of that yeah, without that's... like really racking their brain poking around for a while. Yeah. The four and the two you get, like that makes perfect sense. Um, I think the, the logic is that from there you're like, okay, well, if there's a four and a two, we have two numbers, there at least has to be two more. Right. So you see the planet and you see the high and you're like, oh, those are zeros. But uh, it's so it's so far-fetched, it's a little yeah, a little too much of a stretch, I think. All right. Did we ever figure out what this was? It's the Fibonacci sequence. I don't remember where we enter it, though. Well, there is one ending that I know you definitely haven't gotten yet. Go ahead and hit that red button until you get the hammer again. Is it hitting the screen? What could that be? Oh! The game is weird! What the hell? See those, see those symbols on the corners of the screen? What? Oh, it also crashes the game as soon as you do that. What? Intentionally so. Oh my gosh! Illuminati! I, my brain is jello at this point anyway. What the... I, I, Load it back up. Uh, we gotta get the rest. This game is weird. It is super weird. Oh, it's also by bulky picks. You should play this with earphones too. Go back to food. It actually is pretty good with earphones, but I mean, it's just for the music, right? Like... I guess some of the sound effects. I don't think there are any clues, though, that are based on sound effects. Not that I've noticed. Um, there's another ending that's really easy to get. Slap that red button. A lot. Just smash that button into the ground. Like, yeah, keep it coming. You get the dummy award for that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it though because it's strange that you actually didn't get that right away because I think the assumption is is that players learn that hitting the red button unlocks new panels, right? So obviously most players are going to spam that button until they see everything that it unlocks, until it shuts down the system. Nice. But you didn't see that because you you didn't, you know, have that mentality I guess going in. This we already figured out, right? There's so we have more. four endings left. Yes. Um, take that screwdriver, bring it up to the, the panel. Like the, no, the, um, mm -hmm. the monitor panel. Do it on the little cables. What? So that's... that. That doesn't turn on. Do screws? I don't think we unscrew anything there. Yeah. Oh, hit something in that phone panel again. Just hit a button. Oh, oh, I'm so dumb. Okay, this is where the Fibonacci sequence comes in. I totally forgot that it changes the input when that's open. So the Fibonacci sequence is zero, one, one, two, three, uh, five. 8, 13. So the way it works is it goes 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 what? is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8, and 8 plus 5 is 13. God. Cthulhu ending! Yeah! That's cool. <laughs> huh. And now hit 1, 2, 1, 1. Where do we learn this? We learn this. Where the fuck did we learn that? Oh, so this is that, that formula. This is one of the other ones that I had a hard time understanding. So, 
if one equals one one, then two and two one two ones equals one two one one. What? So one equals one one. One one equals two one. Yeah, it's it still is. I... Yeah, that that's that's what that's for. That's okay. Um, so now, if you hit one of those buttons, uh... you notice that it's a similar tone to what we've been hearing in the music this whole time. Huh. So basically, we have to play the theme song. <laughs> I believe it's right, right, middle, down, down, or left, 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 middle, right. Musical genius. These guys, not me. It's ridiculous. I love the ain't, ain't afraid no ghosts. It's the asteroids ending, and yet they give you the Ghostbusters yeah, poster. Weird. All right. What's next? So now we have the 19th ending. What, are you tired or something? It, I, my brain is melting. I gave you tea. Oh, that's right. Okay, so I know where the color code, that where the second color code comes from. After we w win the plain minigame, I think it shows up um, somewhere. Oh, uh, maybe it was when you dropped all bomb or whatever. There was it, some of the vowels were fuzzed out. I think that's probably what it is then. Okay, so there it is. The the flickering Yellow, letters. Red, blue, blue. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Man, it's so much more obvious now that I know that it's there. Cause this, this game oftentimes does that too, I think, where it's just like, ah, I feel dumb for not realizing this sooner. Okay, so that's the first step, but we need to do the um, that 7x7 seven seven panel in order to open it now. Bam. What now, the fuck is this? Slap that diamond in there and hit a button. Boom! Easily one of the most complicated out of all of the endings. What? Sandworm! <laughs> All right, that was cool. That was, right? Don't you love that? That was fun. And now we have one last ending. Where, where's your voice acting? Oh, hey man. Man, I need to take a bathroom break. Stay out for a moment. Wait, wait, what's this paddle for? I don't bother with the coffee machine. And why is it so strange? I don't know, it just appeared out one day. Sometimes it shows ads on the screen. You got are some coffee on gun. There's the red button. Okay, but don't take too long. Just gonna hit the red button. Yay! What? Yay! We did it! Drink, oh, cool. Drink that coffee! Yeah! Mmm! Hit that red button again! Yeah! Drink uh. more coffee! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that's cool. That was fun. Right? I and I think that's a great way to do the last sequence too, is to just be like. Yeah, this is a fun little bonus thing, like, hey, all this time you were probably just crazy. This thing is just a weird machine that mysteriously appeared one day. Huh. I like it. Right? So, what are your final thoughts on the game? Uh, I love puzzle games like these. It's like the Don't Escape games. It, the sort of it is! Of a this lot. is exactly the kind yeah. of the feeling you get yes. from it. Because I, it, it... However... It went a li Some of the hints were a little like, what? Which like, often is the case with pretty much any puzzle game that ever exists, unless it's just in general too easy. Yeah. Um, so all things considered, like while some of the hints were like really, really vague and kind of hard to decipher, um, I think it's okay. Yeah. Ultimately, especially when we have the internet on our side. Yeah. It's oh. not always the worst. Yeah, um, it's I just, do appreciate this game, though. I, I do think it's always good, though, to dissuade your your audience from going to the internet yeah. for answers, especially with a puzzle game, because then it just ruins the whole fun of it. No, I, I like this one a lot. I love all the references with the posters and with the endings. I thought that was really cool. Um, I, I I enjoyed this one. This one was cool. This, this game, to me, um, I think is a shining example of aesthetic reward. 
Um, I know I mentioned this already, but like, it honestly doesn't get much better than this. Like, obviously the player gets the satisfaction of solving the puzzles, right? They're like, right. oh yeah, I feel good because I did it. Um, but at the same time, it's almost validated because you unlock these death sequences or apocalypse sequences and you get this music. You get these little posters in the background. Like, and all things considered, like, the player's not really gaining anything, but it, it kind of gives you that sense of achievement, like you've earned this, and it yeah. feels good, it feels rewarding. It makes your brain feel nice when it's not melted, that is. I, yeah, I, I, I do love, though, the brain melty puzzle games like this. Yeah. It, it's these, the... these, to me, feel a lot more intellectual than a lot of other puzzle games out there. Absolutely. Plus, it's... I really like the little animations for each ending, because the art, the art and animation was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, even when it comes to these little poster guys, like, these are really on point and well done. I think, uh, I think the panda might be my favorite one. Mostly yeah. because of the WWF shirt. <laughs> but, uh, no, this was, this was cool. I like this one a lot. I love that they showed some love to other games and other indie games and such, too. So it's awesome. Right? That's like, that's like my dream, too, is to build an, in, like, a good enough, polished enough indie game of my own to, like, Give those little shout outs to the other indies that I love. Oh, yeah. So, um, all, everything, anything else to say? I'm really mad no. at this. No, this is, this is cool. I liked it. Well done, guys. Yeah, very, very, very fun game. I'm, I was surprisingly happy with it. When I first saw it, I was like, yeah, this game looks a little gimmicky, but you know, whatever. And I saw the Let's Plays and I was like, no. No, you don't understand. <laughs> this game is better than this. Yeah, and it's then, really not. The only random things are the two. Yeah, and it's everything else has rules. Everything else has and it's sense. it's not hard to interact with those random elements either because you just hit the restart start button until it appears. Like yeah, it's really not it's, that complicated. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't feel that it cheapens the experience at all. I think that actually makes it a lot more interesting if you're stumped and you're restarting a lot. Suddenly, this new thing's going to be presented to you, and you're like, ah, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> no, so. I yeah, cool. Any final thoughts? Any last thoughts? What's our question of the day? Oh, um... Question of the day. Okay, so, we talked about it a little bit in this episode, but basically, when designing a puzzle, how do you think is is the right way to do this? Um, and obviously it's open-ended, right? So there's probably multiple ways. Um, but what do you think is the best way of designing a puzzle so that the hints are subtle enough to make the puzzle challenging, um, but not too challenging to make it impossible, right? Like, if it's too hidden, um, then the puzzle puzzle becomes way too difficult to, yeah. to solve. Uh, so what do, you, what do you think is the best way to design something like that? Um, share your thoughts in the comment section, and we will would love to, to kind of, like, jump in and out and, of discussion with you on that, so... Also, keep feel free to send us some more game requests. We are totally up for playing any indie game... Uh, and, and as long as you guys want us to uh, give us some criticism, then we will happily do so. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching. We hope you liked this episode. Give us a like if you enjoyed it, and uh, share us your thoughts in the comments. So You can also hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more of this stuff. Subscribe button is up there. When I pointed down, I meant up. Subscribe button is up there. Shh. Bye, everybody. Easy, baby. Let's get ready.